this is the last time we can do this because next week's episode is the final episode of Game of Thrones until the prequels. So <laughs> with that, let us get into our finale predictions. This is one last 80-minute episode. What do we think is going to happen? Joshua, you go first. Me first? You're on the spot. Start at the beginning. Okay. Beat by beat. So I think that Varys, we saw him writing those letters. I know we saw him burn one, but I think he got some other ones out to the right people, like other, the leaders of the other seven kingdoms and people, you know, whoever. The right parties who need to know. Who's jo even left at this <laughs> yeah. point is my the question. The Prince of Dorne uh, <laughs> yeah. Arya. out there. I mean, not Arya, the Greyjoy lady. Yara, yeah, yeah, Arya, yeah. yeah. Or, or um, Yara. Yara, Yara. Yara. Um, but anyway, so that those get to where they need to. And the information on those is, of course, that John is the true heir. Uh, we saw Arya on the ground, right? And she she experienced the the um, the burning of King's Landing, and saw the horror that Danny is capable of firsthand, right? So she is now probably gunning to kill Danny. Who knows? She might. Um, Does she deserve both Danny and the Night King? I don't know. I don't know. She's yeah, good sure, at it. Sure. She's good at. It. If anyone could do it, it, could be her. But she's definitely going to like be opposing her. John similarly was on the ground. He saw what when when Danny decided to go and start destroying everything, then that that gave all of, essentially all the soldiers, they said, oh, that's our cue that we can rape and pillage and just kill everything we want. So I think J that turned John against her. Um, as Danny said that, you're like, oh, this is a victory for Sansa, turning like Varys against me. Uh, so we already know Sansa is against her. So now all the Starks are aligned against Danny, right? So I think it's going to be Team Stark going against her to, to bring her down. But here's my thing. Here's my question that, because I also like, that's my instinct. But what we were talking about earlier with the mad queen, you know, she has shown her might, like what could they possibly do to defeat her? She has a dragon still. Like they don't I have, have scorpions. Yeah, okay. Well, Jim, okay. what a great segment for you to tell us your theory for the finale. Okay. I think, uh, yes, it will be team Stark to a degree because John brought this trouble to their doorstep. Yes, they needed uh, Danny and her dragons to fight the White Walkers, I guess, to a point. What they really needed was Dragon Glass and a, a spry little sister. But ultimately, I think John, I think Arya asking him, is it true you died and came back? What if she kills John? Or he says, you have to do this. She takes his face to get close to uh, Daenerys and kills her that way. Or I also think Daenerys thinks she's going to be able to execute Jon. She marches him out in front of Drogon, sister Karis, lights him up, nothing. Maybe his clothes are burned, but... He's fine. Or Drogon just doesn't do it because yeah. he seems to respond to both Targaryens. Yeah, something like that where somehow like that that would be the ultimate kind of like, God, I can't defeat this guy and proving to everybody like, you know, we, you know, we can do this. Um, I also think he is going to he's going to stay true to his word of like not wanting to be king. And frankly, I thought in this episode, he kind of proved that he shouldn't be king. Because it Such didn't have to get that. He's an idiot. I think Top he's going to go back dummy. off uh, to the wildlings up north. I think ultimately there will be no Iron Throne and no like one ruler. I think everyone will have to learn how to work together. I think Sansa will be the queen in the north. Uh, Arya or Brienne will be her hand. And um, Jon will just go off with the wildlings. Because I don't think ultimately... He might have some good qualities to be king, but I, I think his his naivete and his ability to put blinders on got a lot of people killed. Absolutely, yeah. I you know a lot of the the things that have been said in the show, like Daenerys saying she wants to break the wheel or be the last tyrant. Frankly, it's to me it's impossible. And one of my favorite uh, fantasy series of all time, uh, it's called the, it's two trilogies, it's called The Wayfair Redemption by Sarah Douglas, she's this Australian author, and uh, kind of spoilers for this, but like basically the first trilogy is um, about, you know, this fight against evil, right? And like pretty straightforward, like this, this traditional hero, whatever, they defeat the evil. And the next trilogy takes place 30 years later with the kids of the other ones, and everything's gone to hell. And it's like, it's, it's subverting this idea 
of, you know, just because you uh, defeat the the evil doesn't mean that everything's going to be fine. It goes back to what George R. R. Martin has said about, um, you know, the Lord of the Rings being an inspiration and this idea of, you know, when, when Aragorn defeated uh, Sauron, that that was it. And like, what about the orcs? What about the taxes and all these things? And so even when we're talking about like, oh, well, what will they do about Daenerys? Who will rule whatever? Like, there's definitely not going to be a tidy ending. It's not going to be as simple as this person sits on the Iron Throne or whatever, you know, version of that there ends up being. And there is peace forever. And if the show does go that route, which I, I'm 100% confident that the books won't, but if the show does go that route, I think that that will be a, a flagrant disregard of what this entire series is out to accomplish. And so with that in mind, that's not a prediction. That's just kind of a commentary on it. Um, I do, my, number one, my hope is that Bran does anything because he has been the biggest wet blanket this season. He went into crows when he could have done anything helpful um, and, and you know, just didn't. He just talked to people about some stuff. Um, I'm, I'm curious and hopeful that his conversation with Tyrion comes back into play uh, where Tyrion sat down with him and he was like, tell me your story. And Bran is like, it's long and kind of weird. And he's like, whatever, we have time. Um, and I hope that that ends up being useful. And yeah, I hope that it doesn't end up being kind of the, the straight up um, clash that this episode ended up being. I want it to be messy. You know, I don't necessarily need there to be someone on the Iron Throne, though. If I was to predict someone, it would be Sansa because she is the smartest, least crazy person of everyone still alive at this point. But but I want I want it to be messy. I don't want it to have a tidy ending. I want it to be true to Ramsey Bolton saying, if you think this story has a happy ending, you haven't been being it, pay, paying attention. I just want it to be done in a way that's true to the spirit of the show and not feel cheap. I think you make a good point about how it uh... – like, for example, the current show started when Robert had taken rule, right? And it was taken away from him, from people conspiring against him, and it changed hands a couple times over the course of just years of, of the show. Uh, before that, he had taken it from the Targaryens, right? Um, so just because someone takes the throne, as we've seen throughout this show, what does that even mean? That's not necessarily a victory, right? Like, look, look what happened to Cersei. So I think what would need to happen to make the, the victory stick is a time jump. Somebody takes the throne. My money... You know, Sansa is a good bet, but I actually think Tyrion would probably make the best ruler because he's, I think he's the smartest character and knows what's up. And he's certainly not going to stand with Danny because Danny sacked, uh, you know, burned the city right. and killed his brother and sister who he loved despite their, their differences. And he tried, to, he tried to undermine her in a way that wouldn't get a bunch of people killed in this episode too. I think he's learned from the worst of them yeah. um, how to hopefully be the best of them. I mean, why would she want to keep Tearing around at this point. Are you kidding me? She doesn't want to keep any of them around. I think she's going to torch them all the second she can. She already said John was a had betrayed her. That Tyrion yeah. betrayed her. She killed Varys. Sansa, she says, is against her. I think everyone is an enemy at this point, except Grey Worm. Yeah, so I think they're going to have to team up to take Danny down. But I definitely think that Tyrion has what it takes to be a good ruler. Although, again, I wouldn't be surprised with Sansa. But I do want to see a time jump so I can see that, yeah, this ruler, this, this, this like, stuck and they were a good thing for the realm, and that whatever Varys's plan was, it will be to have put that person on the throne. And I know Varys was pulling for Jon um, at the time but uh, of his death, but I think that Jon will not be a good ruler. I think that he served his purpose, which was to help... Well, he did not bring down the Night King personally, but that was sort of his mission, was to help make that happen, and he did. I don't think it's his destiny to rule, so I see him, like maybe going the Frodo route of like going off into the distance or something or sacrificing himself. Uh, but I don't see him making it out alive. I definitely don't see Danny making it out alive either. If I'm, yeah. do, if I'm doing like a ruler and some big deaths, that's what it is. Yeah, you know? I, I stand by my theory that I've been saying all season is that John was brought back for a reason. And once he accomplishes that reason, he will die. Not necessarily the happy Frodo version of going to the Great Havens, but like just, you know, that will be it. Kind of like with Beric, where he his purpose seemingly was to get Arya to the Night King to destroy that. And once that happened, well, he died. I think John, you know, he could end up the king in the further north, like among the wildlings, and maybe ultimately all this, these kingdoms have to learn how to work together. And somebody like Tyrion could help be like a great ambassador in between these kingdoms since he ends up knowing everybody 
You know, he's had adventures kind of almost everywhere at this point. And I think Sansa will stay at Winterfell. Um, and then at the, at the end of the day, I think Jon will, can still serve a purpose, but it's not to rule everybody. I think his, his purpose, he was a unifier. And I think there's a way he can still help bring unity, but it doesn't have to be necessarily in the, you know, kiss the ring kind of function. He can, he can help lead the wildlings and keep this force that had been uh, a met, uh, uh, at least a, a threat, a perceived threat to them for years, um, an ally, a friend. Yeah. Well, we, by the time this posts, we will have about six days and 18 hours left to find out what will actually happen uh, in George the R. R. Martin final. George will have written eight words. Eight words. Um, yeah. So we, the, the next week, that is the last week of uh, Game of Thrones. But don't worry, that won't be the last week of Dragons on the Wall. We will be back with another episode as we react to the series finale next week. And we also will be back the week after that with one. One breakdown uh, of this series as a whole. And maybe we'll have some special cameos. Who knows? You'll have to check in and find out. But uh, for plenty more on Game of Thrones, we will have you covered this week. We will have plenty of coverage on IGN.com. Make sure to check out Laura Prudhomme's review of the episode, which should be live by the time you read this. If you want more Game of Thrones discussion fun time, you can tune into our weekly live IGN watch party pre and post shows on any platform you like to watch IGN. We also have an excellent, very fun video of the Game of Thrones cast responding to IGN comments. Part two, you guys like the first one so much that we figured we'd use all the leftover ones and put another video together. Speaking of comments, we love hearing your thoughts, so be sure to weigh in on this week's topics on IGN.com in the comments. And if you love us too, then be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN for more Game of Thrones. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>